This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good Monday morning, everyone. I'm Claire Kellett. Here are some of the stories making headlines. News 4 covering several breaking stories this morning. In Chesterfield, there's a police investigation outside a home on Olive Boulevard, just west of 141. We know there is crime scene tape around the home. Our crew saw a child taken to an ambulance. We do have calls into police to try to find out more information. Only drone four showing us this vacant house fire in North St. Louis. You see the fire department was using two ladder trucks trying to get those flames under control. This happened about 115 near Salisbury and Blair. No reports of injuries. News we're also on the scene of two other fires in the Metro East on the left. Intense flames shooting from the first home on Henrietta Avenue near 16th Street in East St. Louis. That one started just before 4 o'clock this morning. Then on the right side of your screen, a first alarm fire was called out for this house fire on McBride Avenue near Stoley Road. Crews believe the building was vacant. No injuries reported in either fire. Really not a bad start to the week Monday and Tuesday. Things though change come Wednesday, Ken. Yep, 49 degrees today. Not bad at all. We'll get a little mix of clouds and sun, probably mostly clouds, but not a bad day. A little breeze out of the southeast at 10 miles per hour, get close to 50 degrees. But then tomorrow, rain moves in. This is at noon and then through the day, the spread, the coverage spreads out. So we're seeing scattered showers likely and uh, some heavier rain certainly possible. And then as we get into Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning, it starts to mix as this colder air moves in. So this is sleet, possibly some freezing rain with a transition zone to snow. Now it's showing the sleet to the south, but this waves back and forth a little bit. But certainly all snow in the northern counties appears likely uh, for an extended period of time. So we'll get some breaks. It looks like Wednesday, late Wednesday, but then through Thursday, Wednesday night and Thursday, the snow continues to accumulate over the, especially the northern parts of our viewing area where several inches are certainly possible. And we'll have more of an idea as we get a little closer, but there will be accumulations of snow and ice in the metro area and points south as well. That is on Wednesday and particularly Wednesday night into Thursday. Uh, that's when it really looks like it piles up. 49 today, 52 tomorrow with the rain, then turning colder as we get that mix rolling in. All snow on Thursday, cold temperatures remain with us even though the sun comes out on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Stays pretty chilly, a little bit warmer by the time we get to Sunday.